Okay. Zoom out again. I'm going to grab all of those and I'm going to merge them or group them together. Then I'm going to resize and instead of 38, I'm going to bring them down to 30. Hit my tab, which changes the other one as well, and click OK. And that will generate, whoops, escape would help, sorry, and generate. And move my flower. OK, now I need a centre for that flower. So let's zoom in so you get a closer look. Now I'm going to use my new tool, which is actually my drawing of an ellipse tool. Change the colour, and I'll just make it a pink colour, click OK. Now you'll notice that these colours don't always, and I've just dragged that and left click again, and I've got the same colour, so I'm going to escape and generate. We have a closer look. Now we have a flower with a plain centre. Now what I'm going to do is just select, hold down my shift key and change these to a pink so you can see them. And I'm going to change that to a darker pink. And there you have the flower. Now I'm just going to click on that center. And instead of auto judge, I'm going to see if it'll let me do a satin or whether that satin will be too wide. No, it's not. It's fine. Okay, so now we have four petals and the center of a flower really easy. Now if I select one of those, first of all I have to actually ungroup them. I'm just going to select that one. Control C and Control V and I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm also going to select it and change the color to a dark green. Select it again. This time I'm actually going to reshape it and generate Whilst it's selected, I'm going to hit it again and just gently rotate it. Okay, so now I actually have a leaf for my flower. It might be a fraction big, so we might just drag it in a bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Control C and Control V. Now I can actually flip it. And I have another leaf for my flower. And generate. Now another tool that we have is our freehand drawing tool. Now if you have a Wacom tablet or a digitizing tablet, this tool is really cool because it allows you to do freehand lines. So I'm going to change the color to a dark green, click OK, and then I'm going to draw from the center of the flower and down and through to the grass and right click to escape grab the leaf and I can move it closer to the leaf to the uh, stem of the flower I'm going to move that up and generate I'm going to grab all the parts of the flower by holding down my shift key and I'm going to move to the bottom and generate. So now my flower will sew out last. I'd also like the green part of the grass over the top, so I'm going to move that to the bottom and generate. Okay, so using those tools, we now have a flower, a stem, two leaves, and some grass. Now I'm going to make a couple of adjustments to this design just to help with the stitch out. So first of all, I'm going to grab the in point of the stalk and bring it down to there. And I'm going to move the out point to there. Now the reason I've done that is, and I will generate, it will start here, do a tie-in, it will come down and go up to the top and come back down to there, which gives me a double run here and a double run here. Now I want to uh, actually 
sew the second leaf and it will go up and then it will come down to there. Now I want to go to the next leaf and I'm going to zoom in just so you can see a bit clearly what I'm doing and turn off the 3D view. Now I'm going to actually grab, just unclick that, my um, draw line tool and I'm going to click from where the out along that stitching line that is still a single run and I'm going to end it and hit enter and escape. Now I can change the color of that to the darker green and I want it to stitch out in position 3 so I'm going to select it, right click and I'm going to move to position 3 and click OK. So now it will do the stalk, the first leaf, then it will do the second part of the stalk and to the leaf. Now I don't want to have tie-ins and tie-outs tie everywhere. So on that first part I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to enable the tie-in but I'm going to turn off that enable tie off and apply and click OK. Now I want it to go straight into the leaf then I want it to go to that running stitch so I'm going to hit my space bar again and I'm going to turn off the tie in and the tie off and apply and click OK and then it's going to go to the next leaf. OK so now if we zoom out and watch it stitch out you'll see that it's going to go up, down, do the leaf then it's going to stitch down that line and do the next leaf and finish and I'll just turn that off again. Now I'm going to grab all four of those and just make sure they're all the same colour and now they are. Then it's going to do the um, petals, middle part of the flower and the grass. Now just to cut down on another um, thread change or using another colour I could change that to the colour that I used for the leaves. If I want it to look more distinct then I'll make it the lighter colour. That's just a preference thing, whatever you want to do. Okay, so now you must remember whenever you do anything to make sure you save your design. So I might save the design now. So I'm going to go File, Save As and I'm going to change, because I've edited that, I can now save that as 1B and that knows that I had an original one and an edited version in a gen file and then I can export it. I'm going to export it as a PES file because that's what my machine uses and just going to hit export and click OK. Although I was using the large size hoop that will actually fit in the 100 by 100 size hoop. OK I hope you've enjoyed that uh, lesson on just using these tools uh, down in between the older tools.